Hey YouTube, welcome to Inktober Day 25. Today I wanted to do a couple of mini pieces to help me catch up with all of the days I've missed. I wanted to do some cute, spooky animals using a little bit of colored ink too, so I thought I would draw a bat, a barn owl, and a raccoon. I used entirely Daler Rowney inks for these pieces and Pentel brush pens. As I was looking up pictures for the bat, I realized how much they look like my cat, Future. <laughs> Some of them are like ugly cute and Future is really cute but sometimes when the sun is shining on his face and it's like shiny and he's all squinty and he, he can be pretty ugly. <laughs> in a cute way he's ugly cute so I fell in love with bats a little bit I don't know I want a bat now <laughs> for the second one I did a chubby raccoon on a chubby pumpkin holding little baby pumpkins I, I really love drawing raccoons in this very stylized way and for the third one I did a barn owl and it's baby barn owls are my favorite types of owl. They're really creepy looking and cute at the same time. And there was this one summer where they decided to have a whole bunch of babies and those babies would just scream all night. They were just screeching constantly. There were at least like five of them. Every time I opened my window I just heard screeching. Teacher came up and sat with me while I was painting. He was actually doing really well. Usually he tries to knock over all of the water and stick his face in any cups that I have but he sat there nicely and you could tell he was like sneaking his paw towards the ink bottle that I had there <laughs> just trying to tap it a little bit but I had to kick him out kick him off eventually because he kept trying to shove his face in my water bucket <laughs> So tomorrow I might actually do the same type of little mini pieces again. I want to do a couple more animals. I know I did a raven already on a bigger piece, but I think I want to do a, a smaller cute version. And I also wanted to do a fox, and I'm not sure about the last one. If you guys have any suggestions for kind of spooky misunderstood animals leave those in the comments and I'll, I'll see which one I'd like to draw tomorrow <laughs> So Inktober is coming close to the end and I am trying to think of how I should do my zine still. I did a poll on Twitter a while back asking people if they would rather have a like a perfect bound little mini book zine or a cheaper stapled booklet kind of zine and the results were actually pretty even so if you guys have any preference to what type of book I should make, let me know in the comments as well. I'd like to go somewhere in between those where it's like a, a small, maybe 5x7 perfect bound book. So that way it's still nice, but it's still going to be affordable for you guys. So like, I don't know, 10 or $12. But we'll see how that works out. Thank you. 
All right, and here are the finished pieces. Hope you guys had fun watching this, and I hope that you're having a nice day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys!